Hey guys, well this is just a quick video to update you with what I'm doing on the ESP8266. It's just sat right there, you can see a little red LED. Um, I hooked it up to an OLED display so that we can see what's going on. I've also knocked up some buttons here. Now it's actually got a menu system now and the ability to find Wi-Fi networks. So we've got it running from our Uno, hooked up through a 3.3 volt regulator from the 5 volt pin to provide power to the Wi-Fi module and to the display. So we can just jump through this menu here using this button and you can see a cursor moves around. Uh, if I just click on run so we can see it's working, you'll see a little blue LED flash there. It's just resetting the module to start with and then it's checking the Wi-Fi mode and we should see some a time and a date come through in a second. So you'll see it's, uh, it's found my network there. The details are already stored in the program but I'll be showing you how we don't have to do that in a second. So you'll see it's brought up the time, it's uh, 10.37, it's pretty late, uh, and it's got the date there as well. So we can exit out of that now, if I just hold down the, the menu button. So we've now skipped out of our loop, uh, where it would have just constantly updated. Now if I go to find Wi-Fi networks, it will search the area, you'll see a little blue flash there showing that serial data has been received, and it will show us the Wi-Fi networks that are currently available and we can scroll through these now so you'll see mine's just passed there and we can select any of these that we want so let's let's select my own we're somewhere here right there it is so we can select that one and then we can add our characters for the password so you'll see that I'm scrolling through different types of characters here so we've got a, a numerical character we've got uh, these uh, so uppercase, lowercase, and a symbol. So we can change which character in that set that we use. And we can use uppercase and lowercase as well. And then we can just add those to a string at the bottom. So I'm not going to go through and put my actual password in. But if we now jump out of that, we can say connect to Wi Fi. And it's going to use our details that we've we've put in there, but it's not going to work because I've not put the password in correctly. But that's essentially how it works. Once you've entered those details into um, the Find Wi-Fi Networks bit, you've gone through the whole rigmarole and then connect to the Wi-Fi, it will store those details if it's successful into the EEPROM, which means you don't have to store them again. But if you want to change them, you can just run through the whole uh, loop again. All right, well, it's all on GitHub, so feel free to take a look. If you've got any comments, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, and if you think you can help in any way, that'd be brilliant. Thanks.